Yeah. Let's see. Okay, it says we're um, live. Let all me right. Check. <laughs> Let me check to see if we are indeed live here. Oh, another phone. Okay, good. Now right. the room's down. Turn the sound down. So that was good. Got the volume. Good to see everybody. <laughs> Do you like to check on the volume? I like the three dot camera because then I know exactly where to look to look you right now and say happy Easter. We will be giving away some things here. Some Easter giveaways today. I do have a um although I don't think it's the healthy thing to give away a peep. A bucket of goodies. Okay. I'm not giving away a peep, we're trying a peep. Yes. I we're bought some beaver nuggets yesterday for myself, but I think they ended up in the giveaway. And um, hope, hopefully this works because I set up the drawing because remember we were going to give away these paintings? So I'm going to do the drawing for these today. So, and then this one as well. These. We'll be ready for next winter. And then, um, and then, then today we have this special painting. I have to move stuff around a little bit so I can see. All right, so this is the new painting that Donnie just did. Yeah, is it just, showing good? It's pretty good. Ooh, there, there, more there. Like okay, there. there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this Man, is the painting that, each, you know. that he just did. It's got the solar eclipse, and then, and then it's got the cross star. It's got a cross. Uh, this is the nativity over here, right? Yep. The nativity, and then the cross, and then the... Um, uh, the burial and resurrection right there. So <laughs> it's hard to figure out how to hold it up in here. But this is the painting that he just did in order to give it away today, tonight. We wanted to be a blessing to one of our viewers. So, yeah. And um, Ruby, for some reason, we could not find your address Ruby, anywhere. Ruby, no, I'm Ruby, you did? Yes, in the West Coast. Okay. Yes, we. I did hers this week. She should have it by now. Oh, okay. Fact, All right. Well, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> Last week, you didn't have your address or something. I don't know. Right. She emailed us during our live stream. Okay. I didn't see that email. Yeah, you did. I did not. Anyway. I did not remember. see the email. But anyway. Got you covered. Um, I hope she comes in because I want to hear what she thinks. And and your name oh, is she is in. Yeah, and your name is on one of the on one of the drawings, Ruby, for one of these paintings. I don't remember which one, but one of those winter paintings. Your name is on the drawing. And Suzanne, your name was on the drawing too. Oh, for being people that um, mm -hmm. um, commented. Exactly. Ah, the comment people that commented. And so your name is on the drawing for those. So, hi, Nancy, Smoky Mountain Man. Oh, I'm looking at the um, Smoky Mountain Man, your name is on the drawing on one of those paintings, too, because um, I totally forgot to uh, do the wheel to pick the names. So I set it up today. If, if I can figure out how to uh, bring up the other screen, then, um, then I'm going to do that. Um, if anybody knows how to do that... <laughs> <laughs> We've done it before, but, but it's it has been like it's been like over a year probably yeah, since, since I've done that. Like mm -hmm. way, like maybe even two years since I've done that, because I really, extremely rarely use um, Streamyard. So figuring that thing out is <laughs> is like a challenge for me. Oh, so she hasn't picked it up yet, but the mailbox the people say that they. There is something waiting at the mail. Okay, good, good, good. good. good, good. It should be there. Yeah. They told me it would be there Monday. Hi, Marie. So today's Monday, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm surprised it even made it there all the way from Tennessee there Monday. My goodness, that's fast. Yeah, that's good. So, okay, so um, we've got a, a few things to do. I wanted you're to. You're going to be so shocked at that. Painting. This painting is the one. And I this love is, that painting. And this and this is the new one here. Let me see there. This is the new one that he's giving away. That's the clips, the cross, the um, uh, nativity, and the um, road burial. Yeah. So. So yay! <laughs> oh, and it's got. Um, oh, do you see the? Let me see. There it is. 
the lamb and the little the little church and the um the cross yeah that's my and then uh, up there is another cross and then there's one over there on the other side of his head so and then and then the rest of this is like spring my spring bunnies and stuff like that i've got them up here so mm -hmm. and <laughs> and we enjoy our easter Okay. We know that there are people that argue about what kind of holiday it is and how this kind of that kind of stuff. And, we enjoy it, and we okay. know. Sorry for the bumping. We know that it represents Jesus. Yes. Um, but I like. I bunnies. I enjoy. I yeah. I enjoy just for me, bunnies and chicks and ducks are part of my spring decoration. So, um, so I had put those up earlier and you can see i've got i've got them over there and then bucky is is um impersonating masquerading as a bunny <laughs> i wanted to show you that because what's up doc he is so cute he is so cute <laughs> as in his impersonating a bunny <laughs> okay all right <laughs> Oh, all right, we know so. all that stuff. <laughs> Hi, Diane, Phoenix. Excuse hey, hey, hey. Gypsy. Her. Bunny <sighs> Buck. Bunny Bucky. Yep. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, it is so cute, the Bunny Bucky. And something I learned about these little special Bucky things, if you don't get them when you have a chance, might not be there the next time you come, especially in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, everything is in limited. the Smoky Mountains. It they have a shipment come in, and when it's yeah. gone, tourists come in. When it's gone, it's gone. Everything. You know, and um, so I was going to come back and get a couple little um, other really buckies amazing. like that, not the bunny ones, but I was going to get a couple other uh, holiday buckies. And when I went back, because there was a whole lot of them, when I went back, uh -huh. gone, <laughs> gone. And I was like, okay. I said, hey, can you order them online? Nope, you can't order them online. And so normally I would say when you're going to a store and there's a lot of something, um, sometimes I do not buy it because I just ponder it over if I really want it or not. And then um, sometimes we'll go back three times because there were things that I, that I picked up like at... Um, in the decoration department at Walmart, we actually had been there three times before I bought it because it was like, I wanted it. I want like this, for example, <laughs> I wanted this. This is so cute. It's a little chick mug, a little chick mug. And I, I just thought, oh, that is just, that is so cute. And I wanted it, but I wouldn't, I was like, no, I don't need to, you know, get a bunch of stuff. And so I just waited and waited. The next time we went back, I wanted it again. <laughs> and then the next time we went back, I went ahead, I'm going to get it because I, I still want it, you know? And that's the thing of like knowing whether it's just like um, a momentary win. thing. Yeah. Or if it's something that you, that you really, really want, you know? So if you can do that. But what I'm just saying is Bucky Smoky Mountains, if you wait, it might not be there because it's a tourist destination, mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, um, so let's well, start. I was going to say, I've forgotten it took so long, so long to be my turn. <laughs> Trivia. Um, and, okay. some, and then there are people that are in tonight. You can still win. I mean, there are some people that are going to win from a wheel from yeah. previous things. But if you're staying tonight, like truly amazing, I haven't seen that name before. Um, oh hi, truly amazing. We are we are um, doing. We do. We have some, in the chat can win later. We do have another giveaway here. I we, have a bu I have a a bucket of stuff. Bucket uh, of stuff. A bucket of stuff. Bucket of Bucky. So, um, we'll start off with some. Uh, uh, no, Marie, you did not miss the drawing. We're we're doing that in a little while. Um, I wanted to start off with some uh, trivia. So. Uh, this is some Easter trivia. What dates does Easter always fall between? Does anybody know that? What dates does Easter always fall between? Uh, 
you, mo uh, most people can probably guess the to two months, but I don't know if they know the days. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Did you know the dates, Donnie? No, I don't until I looked up there and cheated. Yeah. Okay. Nancy said March 31st and April 5th. She's got the months right. Wow. Carla says. I can't believe Patrick those two numbers are that far apart. Man. Hi, That's Russo. Okay. Um, it's, it's Diane says long. March 20th and April 10th. I guess it depends on who you ask, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say what it is. Because I think there's a delay on the when they hear and then put the comments in. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Smoky Mountain Man said, happy birthday, Burley, birthday, Joy. Thank you. My birthday is April 2nd. And um, happy birthday. And here's a clue. Um, the um, Easter falls on um, on Spaceman's birthday this year. And with this Sunday, this Sunday is Spaceman's birthday, which the date of that is um, the 31st. Mm -hmm. The 31st. Okay, so, but Easter has landed on my mom's birthday, which is today. Her birthday is March 25th today. So happy birthday to my mom. Easter has landed on my birthday, which is April the 2nd. And so I believe my grand, it has landed Easter on, needs to make up I believe it's landed on my grandmother's birthday before too. And her birthday is um, she's in heaven, but her birthday was April the 16th. And so, um, so the dates are between, between Easter always falls between these dates, March 22nd and April 25th. So that's kind of a, almost a whole, that's over a month. Yeah. That's, that's over a month. Yeah. How does it do that? That much. And so Smoky Mountain Man's birthday is April the 21st. So uh, Easter's probably falling on his birthday too, because it's all the way up to April 25th. So I thought that was interesting. I knew it was always March or April, you know, in the span, but I, I didn't know the exact dates of it until I, I read this on the trivia. Yeah. Um, how many chocolate bunnies are produced each year? Happy birthday to your mom, Gypsy Vanilla Girl. Happy birthday to your mom, Jeff. Our treasure home said, um, happy birthday to Spaceman and to my mom. Um, and um, is there another Donnie? actually Donnie? <laughs> Mine some other month or two his away. Is, his is the end of uh, May. Mine is coming up here on the 2nd. Okay, well, so here's you. the guesses. Um, Don't make me older than I am. Um, One million, Jeff says. Russo says 20 million. Carla says uh, 1 billion. Diane says one, uh, 10 million. Um, Smoky Mountain Man said Easter is determined by the um, first Sunday after the full moon, after the first day of spring. And so I guess it, it that's how it lands with those kind of dates. Well, so, it was a full moon last night. We were we didn't even have to turn the light on to come in the house. Chocolate bunnies is um, ninety million chocolate bunnies are produced each year, and we we did buy some taste tests. Oh yeah, <laughs> when do we get to do that? In a, in a bit. Oh, we just have a little. We're just going to do a little I bit of a little bit trivia. of trivia first. He's a foodie. You know what else they're doing? They're selling chocolate bunny ears alone by themselves. Why? You may know why. Literally, it's because of arguments and things like that. Honestly, they're selling just the ears now so that everybody can have one. Isn't that something? That's a joke. That's a participation trophy if I've ever heard one. That's a joke. No, no, no. I saw it in the store. It said <laughs> right on the package, extra ears. It was, it was in the store. It said extra ears. For your bunny, for your bunny friends, or something like that. Yeah, that was at Ross. Or okay. Was, Where is the most popular Easter parade held each year? Where is the most popular Easter parade held each year? 
Diane said most people eat beers first. Is it the last place you would think it would be? Most secular humanist place. Mm -hmm. New York City. New Carla York, and, and Jeff got it right. It's in New York. New York. Because remember the movie? The movie, um, the Easter Parade with um, Fred Astaire and um, Judy Garland? That was like... I've never even heard of that movie. And they sang a song um, about the uh, walk, you know, walking in the Easter Parade. Hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's a, an old movie. Really? Hi, hi, Paul. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I, I can't remember how the song oh, goes, but know. that's an old movie. That is an old movie, and it is just a great movie. They're walking in the Easter Parade in New York City, and they're singing a song about it and everything. Oh, yeah, very, very popular old movie. Fred Astaire. Love Fred Astaire. <laughs> hi, Susan. Um, Okay, so what color were the first Easter eggs dyed? Does anybody know that? What color were the first Easter eggs dyed? I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, though, I liked dunking mine many, many times to get it darker and darker and darker. Red. Paul got it red. red. Smoky Mountain Man said purple. Suzanne said blue. It was red. Okay. Um, what did the what did the thirteenth century cent, century church prohibit eating during Holy Week? What did the thirteenth century church prohibit eating during Holy Week? <laughs> you can't eat this. Don't eat this. Thank you, Rhonda. She said happy birthday, Joy, and others. Happy birthday. Hi, Mrs. Virginia. Mm, Paul says meat. Jam said meat. Carla uh, says ham. ham. No, that's that's the other religion that doesn't eat Diane pork. says meat. You're going to be surprised. It, it, it's weird. It's eggs. The 13th century church prohibited them eating eggs during Holy Week. I don't know why. No wonder they called them the Dark Ages. I don't know why. That's just odd to me. Yeah. There wasn't an explanation that I saw. What city made the world's largest egg? What city made the world's largest egg? It was like a world record. World record. And if you want to, you can also guess how big it was, because um, because that would be the next question. Um, Paul says Yokohama, Japan. Hmm. Russo says St. Louis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff says, cities make eggs? I always thought it was chickens. <laughs> yes, Smoky Mountain, break up this monotony. Uh, Smoky Mountain Man says, Geneva, Switzerland. Carlos says, Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I guess it's the Easter. Yeah. Um. It is. It was 64 feet and 3.65 inches in circumference, um, and it was in uh, uh, Tosca, Italy. Tosca, Italy. <laughs> Paul says industrial age, Jeff. Ah, <laughs> Menton. Uh, hey, sure. Um, what baked goods is a Good Friday tradition in England? 
And there's a poem about it, too. Mrs. Remember. Virginia lost a dear um, uh, friend today. P pray for her family. We pray the healing Thank mercy Jesus. of God comfort over your friend's family and um, and for you as you have lost this dear friend Thank as you. well, Mrs. Virginia. Thank you, Lord, that you minister to her family, her friend's family, in the name of Jesus, to the glory of God, Lord. your healing mercies and comfort in Jesus' name. Thank you. Okay, what was the last question I said? Um, oh, let me see. Did I say this or did you read it? What baked goods is a Good Friday tradition in England? Did you say that one? You did. Yeah. And hey, okay. Marie got it. And it was hot cross buns. So did Diane. Yeah. Yeah, Diane and, and Marie got that one right. Um, just some tea and poem, biscuits. Um, how many jelly beans do Americans consume at Easter? Some more than others. But now there's jelly bellies, which makes it easier to eat those. Because they're much better than regular jelly beans. Yeah, I like jelly bellies, like way better. To me now, I used to eat jelly beans a lot, but now they're like... Um, um, Corn syrup. Well, it's so sweet, where a jelly belly is almost like a fruity taste to it or something. It's just a little bit, made a little bit different. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Virginia said thank you. She was devastated with the loss of her friend. And so we just thank the Lord for your comfort, Mrs. Virginia, because that's, um, it's, it's, it's probably like losing a sibling to lose a really good friend, a long time good friend. You know, I, I just don't know how to equate it anything better than that. Sometimes a, a good friend is even yeah. closer to us than a an actual sibling. Mm -hmm. Praying for them. Okay, so um, how many jelly beans? The answer was 16 million. Too many. While America has the uh, Easter Bunny as a mascot, America has Easter Bunny as a mascot, what animal mascot represents, um, there's, I'm going to name some countries here. You don't have to necessarily um, get the country right, but you could you could name a mascot that you think might be in one of these countries. Okay, so um, Germany, Switzerland, Australia, Germany, Switzerland, and Australia, they have their own um, Easter animal mascot. Um, can anybody guess? And there's not the same mascot in these different countries. It's not the same. They each have their own mascot. Can anybody guess what, what uh, one of the mascots is? Uh, Carla says a koala. Jam says a lamb. Jeff says a turtle. Uh, Paul says a bear. Um, Mrs. Virginia says a kangaroo. Uh, Nancy says a llama. A llama? Jeff says a dove. Hmm. Okay, so in Germany, there is... Easter mascot is a fox. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's a fox. In Switzerland, um, Jeff, Jeff named a bird. In Switzerland, there is a cuckoo. 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 I didn't even know Switzerland had cuckoos. Did you? They're the ones that build the clocks. That the cuckoo comes out. Okay. Makes sense to me. Okay. So it's a cuckoo. All right, so Australia has a bilby. What is a bilby? Is that kind a of bilby. a kangaroo or something? Oh, I don't know. A joy is a little kangaroo. Smoke about man said sly is a fox. I don't really know what a bilby is. Bilby. Yeah. Um, I don't know where my phone is. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, you mean the one the, the one, one with the tripod? The one that's a camera. <laughs> Hey, Lake Aikens, how are you? Hey, he's Mr. working. Traveler, he's working. He said, waving hi from work. Okay, so 
what is the um, what is the name of the fruit cake with marzipan balls traditionally served at Easter time in England? Does anybody know? Hmm. I better doubt that. And the next question after that is, how many marzipan balls are traditionally on this particular cake? And the next question after that would be, what do the marzipan balls on this um, cake represent? So those are some. Hi, Geo. So those are the questions concerning this fruit cake in England that they serve at Easter tea time. It's a tea time. I don't know if anyone well, would have the answers to that. It's jolly old England. You, you might have had either follow English. I would move on. Channels, or I'm going to say the name, or you would have to um, um, have maybe traveled to England or something like that. So the thing of it is, okay, the fruit cake, Mrs. Virginia said it's a scone. The fruit cake is called uh, a Seminole, S-I-M-N-E-L. It has 11 balls on it. Nancy said 12. And um, what do the marzipan balls represent on this? They represent the apostles. Jeff got it. The apostles minus Judas. The apostles minus Judas. That's what the little marzipan balls represent on there. Okay, how much do households spend on an average for Easter? How much do households spend on an average for hmm. Easter? Well, you're talking clothes, food, out to eat, all kinds of stuff. I would say. Oh, if they're $100. buying, if they're buying Easter, you know, if they're buying Easter outfits, it could be a lot oh, more yeah. than it what this. Hundred dollars a person, really. It, it, than this is. Mrs. Virginia said the disciples. Uh, Jeff says three hundred. <clears throat> Paul says three hundred. Mrs. Virginia says too much. Um, Nancy says three hundred fifty dollars. Um, it's uh, Carla says. 200 which you're really the closest carla it's 192 dollars mm. um what country did the easter bunny originate does anyone know what country the easter bunny originated I almost dropped this can of coke. That would not make. Oh, that would maybe not we be couldn't good. have opened it then. Uh, Jam said Austria. He went and got this. Yeah, yeah we're going to try this out right away because I'm. Uh, Sweden. I worked all He got day. this for free at Dollywood. They, they have a new soda out called um, Spiced. He's going to open that up. We're going to try yeah. that. And I hope it's got caffeine in because I was just like. Yep, caffeine content, 32 uh, million. Jeff says, um, America. Um, it actually, the Easter Bunny originated in Germany, and it was called a hare, H-A-R-E, a hare. Um, Easter Island is part of what country? Easter, this might, people might know this. Oh, Easter awesome. Island is part that's, of what country? Don't. That's way off the coast of South America. Yeah. Called Easter Island is part of what? Did you know you're country? not allowed to go there anymore? Really? Yep, they've totally closed it. They won't let anybody go there, and they're trying to get rid of stuff. Something, something was found that they don't want anybody to know about. Kind of huh. a conspiracy thing going on. Huh? Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. It happened right after they found out that the heads that were sticking out of the ground had bodies under them. Not real bodies. I mean, stone. The whole stone statue was buried. Uh, that was kind of interesting. So yeah, I was um I was up early today, had my coffee this morning, and uh driving home in the sunshine tonight. I was kind of getting a little tired and uh so I was just noticing that uh 
it's time for a little spruce up and i have not had this coca-cola spiced raspberry spiced coke so i don't know if that means it's hot it may be hot spicy kind of hot i don't know or if it's spiced with raspberry it says the ingredients are the bad things of course and then natural flavors and caffeine so that must mean it has raspberry it's 150 calories for the whole thing oh sodium only 30 grams of sodium that's good okay so uh 42 let's see. sugars Ooh. So that was the, the Easter Island was part of Chile. Chile. Um, when was the first White House Easter egg roll? Does anyone know when was the first White House Easter egg roll? And which presidential administration um, hosted the first White House Easter egg roll? That's kind of like a two questions, but it's a combo. It's a combo. It's a combo question there. Combo question. You get double the no points. <laughs> Did you open that? No, I haven't. I was waiting for your go ahead. You can open it. Okay, okay. here we go. Yeah. All right. It's open. I washed it too because we did. It was just like somebody took it out of their cooler and set it there. They didn't like it. Okay. And oh boy, that's an interesting smell. Hmm. My, my body's like, go ahead, go ahead. My mind's going, I don't know. Oh. Cher said, Kennedy, uh, Jeff says, um, 1878. He's right. Case. He got the year right, 1878. Um, and, the, and the president. It was Bruce Rutherford. Rutherford B. Hayes. I wonder if he Googled it. <laughs> I mean, he had time. Because that, was, I mean, that was a specific answer. It's a boy. What do you want to name him? <laughs> Rutherford. Really? Okay. Yeah, he's going to be president. Where is the largest Easter egg museum in the world? Where is the largest Easter egg museum in the world? And the other part of that combo question is, how many eggs are in that Easter egg museum? Hmm. It tastes very good, and it's not it's not um, hot spicy. It's kind of like like it's it is spicy. Yeah, but it's spicy like um, chicory or cinnamon or something like that. Like um, that would be really good in the fall. You know, like in, in, Hi, Tara. On, on a hot night. I don't know if it might even be good heated up. I don't, I, I can't tell. What do you think spice is in it? I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says natural flavors. It doesn't say what spice it is. Hi, Bear Hug. Bear Hug. Boy, it, it hits me right here. Right uh, there. Mm. It's definitely got a spice to it. Maybe it is like a fall, like a fall soda or something. Because it does have a spice to it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But definitely, it, it like, tastes like Coke. It hit me right there. But a little <laughs> bit of cinnamon. And I don't drink Coke, so I was going to just try this one. I'll I can't again. tell if it's got cinnamon, but it's definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's now they have sodas with heat in them. Yeah. We just saw one the other day at the Moon Pie store, and the guy says it could literally make you sick, and and it was so hot. Okay, those gifted those gifted um, memberships went to um let's see the gifted memberships went to um uh, diane phoenix the gypsy and vanilla gorilla um ray fairchild um chris w and um and then there were more let's see i think hmm. Then there were oh there were more than the hillbilly and the chick, uh, the hillbilly chicken ranch was gifted a membership, um, Naj was gifted a membership, uh, Sandy Robinson, and Boba Lee, and Boba Lee. Um, Maritza was gifted a membership. So I just want to say about those gifted memberships, YouTube gifts, gifted a pizza crust. YouTube gifts the memberships, and I do have um, 
Jeff is using, I do have like little emojis for the memberships and stuff. Um, YouTube gifts a membership at a at like a four ninety nine level. So if anybody after their free month of membership, if they want to stay a member, they don't have to stay at that. They don't have to stay at that level. Donnie has a one dollar level. I have a two dollar level. The reason I have a two dollar level and not just a one is because uh, we go out most of the time on all on almost all the vlogs and even on almost all the live streams. If you watch our live streams, we go out. We spend our gas to go somewhere, so we're always going somewhere away. So to me, a two dollar membership for my channel is like a dollar because we're spending gas to get there, you know. And um, but if somebody wants to stay a member after their free membership, um, they don't have to stay a member at the five dollar level. They can downgrade to the lowest level. Hey, Tara. Um, they can do that on his too because they do the gifting on the five dollar level for his channel too. I don't know why they don't just start it off in the small yes. level. Let people choose if they want anything more. But um, I have um, I have um, videos on my channel. Um, like behind the scenes videos and stuff like that. If if you were gifted a membership and you want to go watch those um, while you have a free month, you can go watch those. Um, and like we, we went looking for land and different things. And some of those are behind the scenes stuff that I don't really post out here on the regular channel. I put some stuff behind the scenes and things like that, you know, on there. Mm -hmm. So um, if somebody wants you know, to stay a member, like I said, after that, you, you're free to downgrade. Or if you don't want to stay, you can just go watch the videos and enjoy them and stuff like that. Yep. So, um, let's show that. hi, Vicky. Let's see. More people um, coming in hi, so we Fred. Can show the again. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the painting because he's. If, if, if I'm if we miss saying hi to anyone, bear hug and share and Tara and um, anyone else that 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 came in. So. Um, life. I want to like, I want to first see if, um, I'm going to see if I can, oh, I wanted, there was something else I wanted to do real fast here. I wanted to tell you of like, um, some of you that do like Easter baskets for your relatives and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to, I got some Easter basket ideas. Hi, Roy and Maria. And I wanted to, yeah. it, it's a list of stuff. Of like other than a regular basket, regular old-fashioned Easter basket. There's a lot of different ways that that people are getting creative to put and and give something for Easter, and it doesn't even have to be candy or whatever. It could be whatever that um, is somebody's particular um, interest and stuff like that. So for teen girls, they listed these kinds of things as an alternative to an Easter basket: a makeup bag, a makeup caboodle a nail polish holder, a shower tote, a summer beach bag, upside down umbrella and 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 rain boots and a raincoat and you put like you know easter grass in it and the stuff in it in with the upside down umbrella opened up and then put the other stuff inside of it which I thought was really cute, a purse, a craft tote, um, a mini backpack, a crossbody bag, storage bins in their favorite colors, a bog bag that they can add um, crop charms to. If you if you know what a bog bag is, it's one of those bags you take to the beach and it's kind of hard and it has little holes in it. And people put like um, the croc, like, you know, the little croc charms through the holes and stuff like that. Um, I've got one, um, golden egg or a jumbo egg, wicker weave tote, a cute bowl that, is personalized that they can use as their own personal bowl, a keepsake box, fancy hat box, cute summer hat, um, cute drinking cup, fluffy warm blanket filled with goodies, jewelry box, cute storage bin, basket with a lid for storage, horse riding helmet, rolling suitcase, overnight bag, a cute clothes hamper, funny socks filled with their favorite little things and candies, um, you can also fill the Only pockets. You can fill the pockets of an outfit that you get them, like a spring outfit or something like that. You can fill the pockets with their favorite things and candies and, and stuff won't like even that. Until they try it out. Uh huh. Or a hoodie, like a hoodie. Out. You can fill the pockets of a hoodie, um, a shoe box with shoes in it, and put 
put you can put one shoe to the side and then fill have the other shoe in there and put candies in it, brand new shoes, things like that. Um, a wooden box, um, a cute tin for storage, a canvas bag, a sewing basket, a beach, yeah. a beach float, and you put cellophane around it and you put the stuff inside. Um, a beach bucket, um, uh, a toiletry bag, a travel toiletry bag, um, egg carton with uh, plastic eggs in it. You know, if you have like a little teen girl next door or something, you could do a little, those little eggs and you put, you fill them up and you put them in, in, in a little egg carton and, and give it to her or something like that. It's a, it's a cute little thing, I thought. Um, a memory box, over the door organizer, and this is for teen boys, a backpack, a sports bag, a toolbox, a tackle box, baseball cap, outdoor boots for fishing, collapsible storage cubes, popcorn bucket, collapsible cooler, uh, like for use while they're fishing or something like that, a drinking cup that keeps uh, their drink cold longer, uh, um, a garbage can for their room, a lunch bag, a duffel bag, a lawn chair for um, sports. And you could put little things in, in like the little uh, you know, drinking cups or whatever. Um, a shoe box with sneakers uh, with the stuff put in it. Um, a Frisbee and wrap it in cellophane. Um, a mesh basket. Um, a snackle box. And um, Crocs. Um, and then these are ideas for um, uh, for an adult, adult ideas. A colander filled with kitchen utensils, towels, oven mints, spaghetti, sauce, and candies. Um, a mug with chocolate or coffee, tea, um, hot chocolate, a crock pot filled with their favorite things, um, a planting pot, a wheelbarrow, a cake pan, antique kitchen bowls or pans, a mixing bowl with supplies, a glass bowl or basket, a longer burger basket, um, which is a very expensive, handmade, beautiful basket, um, car cleaning or a detail kit, um, um, a Bible, and you can put some goodies on it, wrap it in cellophane and give it to them, um, a cowboy hat, um, gas cards, gift cards, um, Hobby Lobby themed basket, um, small greenhouse kit, um, a car waste bag that attaches to their car so they can put their, you know, their garbage in it and stuff easily while they're driving, yeah. a tool bag, um, a, a bowling gift card, restaurant gift cards, and some other ideas of things you can put inside the, the basket, not just candy, but candy, snacks, lip glosses, nail polish, nail stick on on kits, the nail stick on kits, um, face wash, face mask, cleanser, cotton wipes, um, hair supplies, sunglasses, flip flops, beach towel, sunblock, suntan lotion, wipes, razors, moisturizing lotion, bath bomb, perfume, stuffies, squishies, um, fun socks, visor hat, necklace, um, a youth teen Bible, books, gift cards, video game for boys, movie tickets uh, for them and a friend to go to the movie. So you get movie tickets for them and a friend, um, craft supplies and painting supplies. So I thought those were all really cool, interesting ideas that were not just like yeah, the candy candy. It's more personalized, you know, to what their, Lots of fun. What their um, desires are and things like that. So if anybody else came in, hello, hello. Oh, um, hello. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this thing. I'm definitely learning how to market things differently with the internet. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Okay. She's looking for the spinning wheel. Does anybody know how to add the a spinning wheel to this? Because <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. I'm at, I'm trying to add the spinning wheel to give away these first two paintings. Can you write the spinning wheel? Okay. 
I don't know if anybody knows how to do that. Let's see. What about that thing up there that says banners? Have you ever clicked on any of those? Oh, you're talking about. Up in I don't have a banner set up. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Brand. Grant looks like a. Let's see. I'm just trying to open up. It's like opening up another, another thing. Yeah, I thought you had to like email it to yourself, and so you then you go to your email and open it, and then drag. It has been a while. I can't on these two ones. I can't do a number because I already have. Um, I already have um, the names on the comments. I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. hmm. I'm just. The one thing looks like a pie slice. I don't think these are the right thing. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> We're back. Let's see. Well, I don't know. I don't think we left on here. <laughs> well, I'm just yeah. trying to figure this thing out. Let's see. Did it lay out? No, that's not used to be able to be able to pull up another screen yeah. pull up another right, screen he said you did try settings right see if there's let me see mb michael do you know how to pull up another screen so i could pull up the wheel and pick the um and then let it spin to pick the winner look at the bottom of the screen share screen okay hmm. It says present. I don't see share screen here. Do you? No, it might be in uh, the settings box. <clears throat> I don't see it says it says mute. Oh, stop the share cam. screens right there under the settings. storyteller Donnie thing. Remember? What? I don't see where That's it says a share. share screen. Those are share screens. So you can share. So there's the wheel. So share it like you were sharing it with a person and having those two people on the same screen. Because you're in single person mode. Yeah, go to that. No, this, that's for two people. I don't think that's you working. You can't drop and drag that into the other person. I don't think that's working because it would show up here. It would, um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm still confused. <laughs> it says, look at the bottom of the screen, share screen. It says invite. Is that what you mean? Let's see. Well, well that would be inviting a guest up. Mm -hmm. That would be inviting a guest up. That's not the right thing. Okay. Have the spinning wheel open. Go to present. Present. Okay. Then click the link to share the wheel. Okay. Present. And um, share screen. Share screen. I would. Okay, and then which one? Sharing screen is easiest with two monitors. I don't have two monitors. Sharing okay. screen. So that could begin. I'm not going to okay. click that. Share screen. Share You're screen. You're on the right track. Wheel of names. Okay. Now, do you have to pick the one the names are already on, though, right? Okay, that worked. Hey, we're okay, there. Okay, so we're there. All right, we should... Well, it worked on here. Can you guys see the wheel? I can see the wheel. There it is. Okay. Now, now this one is for, um, let's see. Okay. 
Now, this one is for, thank you, thank you. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see. Let me see if I can see this. It's the one that has the um, cabin in it. Cabin and trees. Yeah. Oh, there. Other way. This way? Oh, you do it, honey. I Thank can't you. figure it out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm waiting for. Yeah. I don't see where it is. Well, you just now handed it to me. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, it's on a delay. There. Sorry about okay. the delay. There it is. You just saw it. Real good. It's the one with the cabin. Okay. That's what this this one is for. To people that have been commenting. On this one. So a lot of people didn't go comment on the video. So anyway, so we're going to do a spin right now. I think I just touch it and it spins. So the names on there are um, Bear Hug, Multi Hunter, Smoky Mountain Man, Evelyn Patton, Suzanne Goulet, uh, Miss Bell, Julia Grant, Hershey Conley, Will, Wilma D.D., um, Gwen, Sharp Hart, Someplace or Another, and Maria Finko. And what I'm going to say is um, I'm going to give, give um, people like uh, two days. If they're here and they're in the chat and they get this, um, their all name the gets picked, all the better. If somebody else's name gets picked, I'm going to give them two days to um, contact us. And then they can, um, uh, we'll give it to someone else if they don't contact yes, us. We're going to pick two. We should pick two because they need to be, they kind of need to be watching and, you know, um, yeah, at least watch the replay. You know what I mean? They don't have to be here in the live stream, but they need to watch the replay and acknowledge that they are and give us their address. Yeah, and if any of you know them, give them a holler and let them know they won. Or not. So <laughs> You don't have to give them a holler. Maybe you'll be the next winner. Yeah, because what we're going to do is we're going to do a runner-up so that we'll have the first winner. No, because it could be another one that's the same. What I'm going to do is, you know, yeah. What I'm going to do so. is do it. I'll just do it with people the that are in will the next be time. one that's watching tonight. We'll, we'll spin it until we get somebody that's watching tonight. Maybe we don't have to worry because the first person is Hershey, Hershey Conley. Conley. And I don't think he's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll give him two days. We'll give him two days to um I think you should, I think you should spin it now for the runner up until it's someone in the chat. Okay, well that's a good idea. All right. Okay. So, in case, in case this Hershey um, Conley. Conley does not contact us in two days, we'll spin it to see if your name's on here. You're in the chat. <laughs> That's what Donnie did. will be the runner up. The runner up. Yes. That way, either way. Is Wilma in? I don't know. Is Wilma in here? Mm. Thank you. I don't think she's in here. I didn't see her in the chat. That's okay. It's a runner-up spin, so we're doing it again. Yeah. And, and spin again for somebody, a runner-up that's in the chat. Yeah. This is even special, too. That way you know that even if you don't win, <laughs> exciting, the first exciting. chance. I don't think Glenn is in here no. either. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Honestly, Hi, Sofo. Char of Heart. I don't think Char's in here. Yep. I don't think Char's in here. Okay. Oh, someplace or another one. Yeah, he's not. He's pretty busy. I found out he'll be. Here. He's he has watched this before, but yeah. um, I don't think he's here right now. If he is, he's typing real quick because he hasn't <laughs> been in the chat. Mokey is anyone on the wheel in the chat? Oh, 
Evelyn oh, Patton. Evelyn Pat. I don't think she's in here right now either. Oh, well, it, <laughs> there's not very many people on the wheel. As you can see, the number of people that have been they're going down, down, down but down, there's down. another painting to give away, so, so we'll do the same thing yeah. with the other one. Miss <laughs> Bell, I don't think you're here. She's not in here. Confetti everywhere. Donnie wants the runner up to be someone who's actually in the that's chat. in the chat so that we know what to do. Multi multi -hunter. hunters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. We are really being let's go down with three people. Two are spinning again. And oh smoky mountain man's gonna miss her again. Susan, Susan. she's in here. She's in here. I saw her. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little okay. right there. Put S G just so we know. Yeah. Okay, so Suzanne, you're the runner up. If this other person does not contact us, you're the runner up for the yes for that the painting with the um Kevin with the cabin on Kevin it. And shoes. I okay. It. She said, "Woohoo!" It's likely that you'll get it because I don't know if the other person even um, watches. But they were in watches or not you know could have been just watching for that one time or something okay so let me let me see i need to switch it to um try to get this other one now let me i have to get i have to get this out okay now i have to hit let me see present again Stop screen, present. Let me see, share screen. Now this is another one. This is for the other one with the um, the snowman. Snowman. You hold that up for them. I will hold them up for them. This, this one is for that. Um, share screen. Let me make sure I get rid of that. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I just deleted the wrong one. No, that only had three names left on it. You deleted the right one. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I mean, you were down to three names. What do you mean as far as... Okay, maybe I was wrong. You know, maybe I did them wrong. But anyway, whatever. This is the next one. Let me try to share the screen. Get all the names. And... Share the screen. Okay. So there's different names on here or no? Some of these people, I think I did the wrong one though, first time. That's what I think I did. You mean you picked the wrong number of names? I might have shared the wrong screen. It shares on that one. Rushing winds on that one. Yeah. But you're saying this wheel was for the other people? Because I think, yeah, I think these people were for the other one. Yeah, I think those were for the other one, and um, and this one I think was for the other one too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna delete those because I think those were for the other painting, mm -hmm. and I think I did something wrong. But anyway, I'm gonna spend these names because these are the ones that regularly watch and stuff. So. All right. Because I think well, I might have done better. it. I might have done it backwards, and I'm sorry if I did. Okay. So this is the the winner of the one with the snowman. Okay. And then you'll be ready for um, winter next week. Okay. So Tony PT Adventures, and he does regularly watch. Right. So um, he so Tony, you can you can contact us in two days, and then we'll pick a runner up from um someone who's in the chat okay so all right hopefully there's somebody on that wheel that's in the chat okay. cynthia's crafts and more and i don't think she's here right now she does watch us all the time 
but I don't think she's in the chat as a runner up right now because she's been in the evening. She's been spending time uh, with her, um, her husband and her um, autistic son. Okay. Rushing wind mountain. Okay. You she had another one. Are you here? <laughs> Cher almost won that one. Are you here, Ruby? He was in earlier. Yeah, she was here earlier. I don't know if she's still here. She was here while I ago. named it Snowman Mountain Star. Come on, Wynn. Are you here? Come on. It it takes, she might be listening because she was editing, but I don't know if she's got her sound on. She might not be in the chat right now. Uh -oh. oh, yes. But I there want she to is. pass. Okay. Yes, but oh, I want well, to pass it. I can't read where she yeah. wants to pass it to. I want pass to pass it on. It on. Okay. Okay. Here, here. okay. So she wants to pass it on, so I'm going to do it again. Right. I'm going to do it again. Okay. Well, thank you. If it lands on Miss Bell, I don't think she's here right now. Either. I don't know if Julie Graham is here. Gail, Gail Southern, Southern Living, Living, and I don't think she's here she's right now busy, either. Yeah. I don't think that Gail is here. I did not see her. Okay, so we'll remove that. Gail's not here. Okay. Um, and we'll see who's here. Some people too. could be. Some people could be. Um, say, oh yeah. I was just gonna say remove Susan. Okay. She's already. A, yeah, you already won. So we're gonna pick someone else. Yeah, she's yellow. Yeah, but congrats, you won. <laughs> I won again. You're just. You're just. Uh, unless, unless she wants this as her first prize, and then we'll pick somebody else for the runner-up of the cabin one. Let Let's us know, Suzanne. Well, that's why she knows she gets it for sure. If no, because oh, this is the runner up. This is because Tony is the first prize. Yeah. We're already on. Yeah, we'll pick another runner up. Yeah. Well, we could let her decide. Which one would you rather have the runner up on, Suzanne? Would you rather have the, the one with the uh, snowman or the one with the cabin as the runner up? And then we'll pick another one for the cabin or a runner up. Pick another runner up. Another runner, runner up. <laughs> runner, 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 runner. Runner, 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 runner. And if that runner doesn't work, we'll do a walk up. We'll take a walk up. So, so nobody's running up. <laughs> uh, Suzanne says, I'll keep the first one. Okay, okay good. Right. Okay, so instead of picking another runner up for this, um, because because Tony is the first person, right? Tony's first person, and he gets to decide if he wants it or not, if he contacts My us. Content. But Rushing Wind Mountain said instead of her being the runner up, she wants Bear Hug to be the runner up. So on that, so we'll just say, um, PT is is one, and then um, BH. and then Bear Hug. So we'll click. So the bear hug is the runner up for that one. All right. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So it. now we can stop spinning. Yeah. Good. I was I getting get, dizzy. I can get, um, let me remove that and um, get rid of Because bear hug's that. in the chat, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, I want it to be somebody here with us that wins. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so bear hug is in the backup. Before chat. we give away this this uh, Easter painting, um, we did get a few things to um, that we do have another giveaway here, but we did have a few things to. Um, oh, you're gonna make me bite into a peep. A That's few things. Get me sleepy again. Uh, just a few things. Spinning that wheel really got me going. You know, Peeps was very popular. Peeps was very popular this season. Yeah, you were close, Smoky Mountain Man. And this is a chocolate, Ooh, marshmallow flavored chocolate peep. Look at the size of that thing. It's big, but I mean, being a pound. I thought, yeah, I thought it was something we could take a little bite of and 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 have a taste of it. I'll buy a little bit of it here. That is going to be too sweet. I can tell by how glossy it is. 
it's got a little hollow in it. Yeah, it's not. Hollow. Let's see. Um, it's hollow in the ear, so it's not solid chocolate. That is pretty thick. It's very. Okay. Oh, well, this is not one of he them foamy a, peeps. He took a big bite. Mm. It um. Mm. It's mm. very sweet. But it is quality. It's not cheap. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not like that really Palmer's. It's mm -hmm. not like Palmer's chocolate. Elmer's? They're really, really, really sweet. Not like that. Mm -hmm. And this is... Mm. Actually, that, that is tasting really good. That is a good... I think I can finish that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I also went says, to the Amish Ooh, place this week and got a strawberry rhubarb pie. This is one of Donnie's things. Okay, this was in the shape like a um, like a carrot. Yeah. You know, we both like these robin eggs. We both like these robin like eggs. Malted milk ball, right? But if we eat too many of them, if we eat too many of them, we'll get a stomach ache. But he yes. really likes them too. I used to eat whoppers by the ton years ago, but then one day it just was like, that's it. <laughs> Gio says, too old for peeps and still recovering from childhood trauma with the multitudes I was given for Easter. <laughs> mm. Malted milk eggs. Mm. Mountain Man said, I did win a, um, I did get a um, great snowman picture from Donnie earlier. I'm very thankful. Yeah, that was, um, I don't think you won it. I think we just sent it to you, didn't we? As a gift? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there. This is Russell Stover Bunny, and then so I wanted to do like a taste test because we tr we got a couple little things of Bucky's, mm. a couple little things of Bucky's. We got a couple more giveaways. Oh. He's got to get that. Don't bump the camera when you're doing it. Okay. Now, before we give away the painting, I want to read chapter nineteen. Okay. So this this was the Russell Stover Russell Stover bunny. Yep. And then one gets the tail. And then there was a Russell Stover caramel egg. It's a hard time focusing. And there was a Bucky's. Caramel, um, milk chocolate, and white chocolate buckies. Oh, so I, I thought, were... I, I thought we could taste. I gave some for the giveaway, but oh, okay. um, I, I thought we could taste the difference between Russell Stover because there's the Russell Stover. Isn't that Russell Stover? Oh, yeah. It's... There's a Russell Stover store here. Yeah. That sells discounted Russell Stover yep. candies. Right after the holidays, it's and to go. and we have Bucky's here. So I thought, you know, we could try Not and sea salt off it, I'll take it. We could see what the difference is. What, this is sea salt? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it does have sea salt on it. Not There's not that much sea salt on it no, though. Not, not that much sea salt on it at all. This is a milk chocolate Bucky's caramel. Yep. That's a decent price too. Two for two for dollar. It's a milk chocolate, milk chocolate one. Is it? Or two for two for two. And then this is um, a Russell Stover caramel egg. This is milk chocolate too. Hmm. I don't think they taste that much dessert. Maybe they make them both. Hmm. Mm. See, if they, I don't think they really taste different from each other. What do you think? Mm. Give my buds a chance. I think they're almost like identical. Honestly, the Bucky's mm -hmm. and the Russell Stover. Maybe Russell Stover makes Bucky's. The rest is still work caramel with a little salt. 
it doesn't. I don't think it says who makes this Bucky's one on it. Mm -hmm. wow. But it tastes like it tastes like the Russell Stover. There's a piece on the label there. This is a dark chocolate one. Let me see that. Mm. Manufactured. The sure. dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like dark chocolate caramel. Mm -hmm. Milk chocolate. Mm. And then this is the Russell Russell Stover bunny. Mm. Comes out of Texas. No, nope. I don't know, but it—they're like identical to me. Those two are like identical to me. Pretty close, except the Bucky's is sea salt caramel. Yeah, so it's, it's got a little, a little sea a little sea salt on. Did uh, you try that? No, I haven't. Mm. I would say the Bucky's has a little bit more flavor. Okay. Oh, this is, you didn't get to the peanut butter, sweetheart. Oh, it's a peanut I forgot. Butter bunny. Yeah, it was a peanut butter. It was a peanut butter um, bunny. And he ate a Reese cup before they molded him. Bunny is being Reese cup. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's a little smoother than a Reese cup. Reese cups are kind of grainy. That was it very is. smooth, cream center. Yeah, mm. it's it's smoother. The the um Russell Stover peanut butter bunny is smoother mm -hmm. than um mm -hmm. wow does the cat say joy there it says Great Smoky Mountains Great Smoky Mountains okay. yeah that peanut butter I'm not a peanut butter chocolate but that that rabbit ran into the jar of peanut butter Okay. okay. And ate the whole jar, and now we get to eat him. So somewhere, there's a little pinwheel right here. There's a little pin, a little pinwheel, a little pinwheel. Well, this pinwheel came along right. with. Am I supposed to take a bite, bite of that fuzzy? Wuzzy? Along with this, the pinwheel and this, these things came together, and and they were at um, Walmart. These came together at Walmart, and it's got that candy in it. So I put the candy in the bucket. I'll keep the pinwheel, and um, and I I is wanted to edible? try this. It looks, yes, it does not look tasty. It is edible. <laughs> it looks like a piece of velveteen rabbit. I don't know why it's having a hard time focusing. There. Kind of cute. It's cute. It is cute. Yeah. I think it's cute. Anyway. So is it like a, a, a circus orange? Oh, it is bear? not. I thought it was a marshmallow. Mm -mm. Like a gummy it's bear? It's kind of like a gummy. Well, no, it's kind of like one of those jelly things. Like, you know, those old fashioned like jelly candies that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like an orange. But yeah. Like those circus coat. It's probably blueberry things. flavored or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. Another dose of corn syrup. Totally surprised me. I did not know it was a jelly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, it does have blueberry flavor. And then, oh, I did get a peep. Now this is, um, it says Mike and Ike flavored. Oh my goodness, that'll be like fruity. Mike and Ike were like um, the competition. For good and plenty and good and fruity was Mike and Ike. So if these are Mike and Ike peeps, I don't even want to look at the ingredients. I just thank you, Lord. Not Roman, uh, Luke 10 19. Nothing by any means shall harm me. And the thing of it is with um with peeps, you either you either they're either you love them or they're okay, they're like fine, or you or you hate them. That's what it seems These to be. These guys are all lined up yeah, in this package. Right. So this is, um, yeah, they, they've got them. They got them on a stick. They got them on, on a stick. On a stick. Oh, Jose. So it's Mike and Ike flavored, and um, it says it is um, fruity. 
a strawberry, the red one is strawberry, and then there's orange flavored, and then there's lemon flavored, Ooh, and then and lime, lime flavored. So it's you can take a bite of each. Peep. They're actually instead of the instead of the uh, the bunny peeps, which I don't know. Let me see. See right, right, right up there. Right there. I have a peep, a stuffed peep. <laughs> Which I thought, oh, he's cute, he's cute, he's cute. Okay, so um, Donnie's not huge on on uh, strawberries. I'm not huge on uh, marshmallows. On marshmallows, marshmallows, yeah, marshmallows. So That's definitely, we'll just take a little bite of it. I know it's not food. Get the little. It's not bad. It's basically a coated marshmallow. Not bad. Not mm -hmm. bad. It's a real marshmallow. Okay, so here's the orange one. Yeah, that didn't have much flavor. Can you tell the flavors? Mm. Nope. Mm. Okay, this is supposed to be lemon. It's supposed to. It's getting a little orangier. Lemon. I bet you lemon will be strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. Probably chicken ranch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can taste the lemon. I can taste a little bit of these flavors. Um, lemon was if strong. you like the Mike and eggs, then you, and you like peeps, you might like these. Susan is supposed to be getting stormy weather over there in in West Tennessee. She said it started raining. This is lime. Mm -hmm. I like that lemon one. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I want to take a bigger bite too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, actually you want good. the lemon? You want the rest of the lemon then? Oh. <laughs> All right. Just in case hmm. you want to try these peeps. Well, they did a good job. That's worth it. I think giving getting a different flavor like that. If you don't like hmm. peeps, but you like marshmallows. It's worth it. Oh, I also heard this. You can take these and you can instead of instead of what's that stuff? They they have the cookie and they put the marshmallow s'mores. in it. S'mores. You can take peeps and put them as your marshmallows on a s'more and have a flavored one. I've heard people Oof. do that. You couldn't put the chocolate bar in there with that lemon though. <laughs> I don't know. You probably can. You probably can. What would you but there's call, something else in the refrigerator we were gonna get. Oh yeah. Soda. No, in this refrigerator. We ah. had something. Yes. We got something else from Bucky's. Oh a box, yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna need a nap after all this. Sugar. Jam said I did that. It's actually good to have the um the peeps. What would they call when you make a peep? Be careful. More peep more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, Wait a minute, that sounds a, like uh, voyeurism. A peep, a, 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 a peep some more. A peep some more. <laughs> which would make get you arrested not, in the wrong place. Be careful. <laughs> peep some You more. could be arrested for a peep some more. Oh, um, yes. Oh, I picked out something and Joy picked out something. A peep more. Jam said it's a peep more. <laughs> a peep more. A peep more. More. Okay, so Donnie got this um, a macadamia cookie, and he'll just take a bite. He won't eat the whole thing right now. That's she has to say that. You can eat it later, but you don't have to eat it all right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was mm. a Bucky's macadamia nut mm. macadamia um, cookie. Bucky's macadamia cookie. Mm. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I think there's only two macadamia out there that i know of and that's at subway and and bucky's can you grab a knife because this is i don't want to i want to grab a knife and cut a piece of this it's so big oh grab just, a knife please you could just break it no off. i don't want to i want to cut it this we got this from bucky's too it is a peach um a peach uh muffin a peach muffin i wish i let me see I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can do this. A peach muffin, there. A peach muffin. It's got little 
stuff on it, you know. We've never tried this. This is something totally new we wanted to try. Yes, and as a matter of fact, that's the first time we've seen a peach at, um, at Bucky's, a peach muffin. So we thought we'd grab that. And it's the first time uh, that we I saw a coconut um, parfait, coconut pudding. Um, it's a little pudding. messy here. And we tasted that last night. Um. On a, on a separate vlog. It's like a crumble on it, on the top of it. It's got a graham cracker crust at the bottom. No, I'm talking about this. Oh. We're, we, you can, we, that's on the vlog. We'll say it later. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this has like a crumble mm. on top of it. Almost like a mm -hmm. crumble on a um, cobbler. A crumble on a cobbler or mm -hmm. like the cinnamon topping. Mm. Like the cinnamon sugar. And boy, is it moist. Very moist. Mm -hmm. mm. Pudding in the mix. Mm, this is. Mm -hmm. It takes a minute for it to taste like peach, but then it kicks in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mild peach. Very mild peach, but then it gets stronger. Thanks, Ruby. Mm. 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 That's really good. Good night, Russian. That's really good. Thank you for being generous and giving away your winnings. If you like. If you like um, peach, peach and a moist, try the, um, mm -hmm. and then they give and it. And just think if you mix that in with, they gave it to us a in, a, can of in like a little box, so a little box. I would buy that peach, peach muffin, and I would open up a can of peaches. We have to put this aside somewhere where it's not going to fall put it way up there. And okay. I would, I would put that muffin in a bowl. With some milk and a can of peaches. Okay, read your. He's okay. going to give away this painting. I'm going to give, give away the. But he's going to tell us. Tell a. Uh, he's going to read a little bit first, and then we'll give away this painting. He's going to read you a little story. So in, I'm in John. Just a little bit. He's not going to read a lot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. In John, if you're looking for it yourself, starting in in chapter 18 of John, is the beginning of the. Uh, end of the life of Christ, where he is betrayed and arrested in Gethsemane. And then he's brought before the high priest uh, in verse 12. And then Peter denies him in verse 13. In that section, Jesus is questioned by the high priest and by Pilate and by, I mean, by Herod and then by Pilate. And uh, then there's another section where Peter denies him again. Then there's the section where Barabbas is taken. And then uh, verse, and then chapter 19. So then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They put it on him. They put on him a purple robe and said, "Hail, King of the Jews!" As they struck him with their hands. Pilate then went out again and said unto them, the crowd, Behold, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no fault with him. Unquote. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said to them, Behold the man! Therefore, when the chief priests and officers saw him, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! And Pilate said unto, him, unto them, You take him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. But the Jews answered, We have a law, and according to our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. Therefore, when Pilate heard that saying, he was more afraid, and went into the praetorium and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said to him quietly, in private, Are you not, are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have the power to crucify you or the power to release you? That is when Jesus answered and said, quote, You have no power at all against me unless it has been given to you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. From then on, Pilate really sought to release him. 
But the Jews cried out even more, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. Therefore Pilate, when he heard this, brought Jesus out and sat down at the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the preparation day for the Passover, and about the sixth hour, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king! And they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him, crucify him. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate said. And the priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he delivered him to be crucified. So they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of the skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha where they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side, and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross above his head, and the writing of Pilate said this, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Oh, when the Jews read this title, they that he was were above the head of Jesus, uh, it, it, that it was written in Greek and in Latin, the chief priest cried out, do not write he was the king of the Jews. Write that I, he said, I am the king of the Jews. But Pilate answered, I have written what I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments, made of them four parts to each soldier a part. And also they took the tunic. But now the tunic was sewn without a seam, woven from top to bottom in one piece. Therefore among themselves they said, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it. Whose shall it be? And that scripture would be fulfilled. Quote, They divided my garments among themselves, and before my clothing they did cast lots. Therefore the soldiers did these things. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus Mary his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and also Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and, his, and the disciple to whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour on, that disciple took him in as his own to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all scripture had been accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. And now a vessel full of sour wine that was sitting there was filled on a sponge and put up to his mouth by hyssop. So when Jesus received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Therefore, because it was the preparation day and that the body should not remain on the cross for the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, meaning the Passover. The Jews asked Pilate that, the, that uh, the legs would be broken and that the soldiers would come and take and break the legs so that they would die quicker. So the soldiers came to break the legs of the first and also of the second they did so. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has seen who has seen this has testified, and his testimony is true, that he knows that he is telling the truth, so that you might believe. For these things were done, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not one of his bones shall be broken. And another scripture that says, And they shall look upon him whom they have pierced. And at this time, he was taken down, prepared for burial in Joseph's tomb. So, shall I, oh, well then, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb where it was when it was still dark, but had saw that the stone had been taken away. She ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and said to them, they've taken away the Lord out of the tomb. But where they have taken him, I do not know. Peter therefore went out, and the other disciple were running to the tomb. 
They ran together, but the other disciple ran out, outran Peter, and they came and came to the tomb first. He, stooping down, looked in and saw linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. But then Peter came, following him, and went straight into the tomb, and saw the linen cloths lying there. And a handkerchief that had been around his head was not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple came into the tomb, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. And the disciples went away again to their own homes. Praise the Lord. I'm going to end there. And I want you to know that scripture, I found out about that just this past year. It says, when you're at a feast, the high priest of the feast, he has to get up from the table. When he gets up from the table, he leaves his napkin crumpled on his plate if he's coming back. I mean, if he's not coming back, he leaves his napkin crumpled on the plate. But if he is returning to his seat to eat some more, he will take the linen, fold it, and leave it above the plate. So that was a very significant sign to the disciples. He's coming back. He's coming back. All right. All right. Instead of a number, I wanted to. I wanted to do the um, the the word thing. If I can. The word thing. Yeah. What is the word thing? Yeah, there was another thing here that I wanted to do. Let's see. I got back these salt pieces. Wait, off. that's not it. Um, there was a lot me. more salt on this salted caramel one. Let me see. Oh, where's my... Oh, sorry. <laughs> um... Let me see. It was StreamYard. Um, it's a winning thing. Give a well, giveaway. StreamYard giveaway. Let me see. I'm going to see if I do it right. Let me see. Start collecting comments. Giveaway tool. If you just give me a minute to see. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put. Start collecting comments. Yeah. Share screen. Giveaway tool. I'm not sure if I got the right one. Hopefully, I got the right one. Either the top one or the bottom one. Let me see. I have to wait and see if it came up. Okay, here it comes. All right. So, if you want to win, if you want to win this painting that I was holding up, um, type in the chat. Um, the hashtag and then cross, just like it is there, just like it is on the, um, on, on just screen. like you see it on the screen. Hashtag cross, hashtag cross if you want to win this painting that I was holding up while he was reading the scriptures. Type in hashtag cross. Does that put them on the wheel? No, it's not a wheel. Hmm. It's 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 going to collect the people that are typing this in. Okay. It's going to collect. Hey, bear hug. And Boy, then look at all of them. and then it'll pick Thank a winner you. out of those people okay. that are it's typing that something in. Something else. It just as a random. Hey, here's your chance. You you need to send us the um your address. We're still waiting for your address because you didn't they win a um mm -hmm. they won a couple a things or something. They won a couple things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so think they were a chance. painting too. 
I think they won that one painting to mm -hmm. the tropical one and across. Mm -hmm. I might back in. Okay. If anyone's hearing our voice and you want to win this painting, put hashtag and then cross. And just like it's on there, I want to make sure everyone that's been chatting with us in here that's been watching, because some people were watching without being in the chat, but they've been watching. If you want to win this, put that in. Did Mrs. Did Mrs. Um, 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 Maria do it yet? I don't see. She's got, gotten in it, here no. um, because she was waiting for the drawing. So I don't know if she's if she's put her name in there. She was in here. Hi, Jeremy. Oh, hopefully she didn't go off. Hopefully she's still around, Mrs. Mrs. Marie. Um, man, Smoky Mountain Man, he's still here. Did you put yours in, Smoky Mountain Man, hashtag cross? We'll, we'll do, oh wait. Maybe it should show a list. Start collecting comments. Just see, there's 15 people put put it in. And oh, there's- If you start doing that, though, it cuts it off, right? It doesn't keep growing. I didn't do the draw yet. So yeah. there's- Could that go to- No, it can grow. It can grow. Yeah, really even if somebody it. puts it in, somebody okay. else puts it in, it can still grow. It'll just add it's that person. Mountain Man, and we don't see you in there as, as hashtag Russ. I don't know. Maybe he did put it uh, in. I don't. Chat Mercer's is about the first one. Uh, Jeff, maybe. Treasure home. Jeff, um, Sandy, our treasured home, Bear Hug, the Traveling Mercer's, Jam, Carla Vision, Diane, Hillbilly Chicken Ranch, Tara, Rhonda, Cher, here's your chance. Um, uh, Rhonda Gale, um, let's see, I don't know, if you want to win it, Smoky Mountain Man, you can put hashtag cross in there. Okay, there see what it he says on the, okay, you got it now, you got it, okay. It, it, um, you should only be able to um, be picked once in the drawing. Don't keep putting your name it in because you got it once. <laughs> Um, here's your sense. I sent to the email in the channel info tab. Okay, let's type. I'm going to type the email. So. Did I type it right? Yes, you did. Okay. There. That's my email right there. And if everybody's got theirs in, I don't see Mrs. Um, Marie Ber Ber I don't see Marie, and I don't Marie see Berdowski, Mrs. but she was in here earlier asking about it. Maybe she's not here right now, but you have to type this in in order to win this uh, hashtag cross. And then I'm I'm getting ready to draw here. Okay, so we got 16. Anybody else? <laughs> Okay. I sent it to that. Mrs. Marie, yeah. Marie B was in here, but I don't see her right now. So maybe she went to do something and she's not. Maybe she's not here right now. But she, um, whoever's watching, ha I mean, you have to do this in order to win this. Unfortunately. Um, so here's your chance to talk about changing the person to two. Okay. Yeah. Marie, are you still here? Do we have her text number? <laughs> no, I don't have her text number. Oh. oh. Okay. She we're had just, to go. Anyway, we're give, we were giving her a, a couple more minutes just in case. Yeah. Um, in case she had it we're on the up TV. On the end of an hour. I here. think sometimes she watches on the TV or something, but she might have walked away from the TV or something like that. And um, so. Here's your chance that I'm worried now. I do have an email on the thing. It's probably says Smoky Mountain Blessed or something like that at Gmail, something or Smoky Mountains Blessed or something. 
something like that. That is, I don't know, but um, my main email that I use is the schnauzer browser at msn.com. And it's spelled in a certain way. That comes to my phone Z's. too, and I'm the one that's going to be mailing. He does. He, he can see the, that email on mm -hmm. his phone, and that's why we use that one because we both have it on our phone where we can see it. That's amazing. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. She's We've got like four or five things to mail out. She's not so paying attention right now, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and draw. And um, let's see. We got our 16. Oh Here wait, we go. I was going to hit the wrong screen. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And draw. here we go. Ooh. The traveling Mercer. Hey. Oh, that's very Sweet. and see this is just random. YouTube picked it and they had given us a um a super chat recently, which is very appreciative. So oh, congratulations to traveling mercers, they're here. And this is this is um, they want. So we didn't Here's have to same email. To we didn't have address. to worry in, in case with this. It was such a special painting. We didn't have to worry um, if we picked the wrong. Like somebody else had the wrong number, had a number in, and we grabbed the wrong number or whatever. This is you. This is um, uh, Streamyard picked picked it according to those that put the hashtag cross in there. So congratulations to traveling Mercers. We actually met them in person a few years ago. So um, wow. very, very, yeah, very, so very really happy. Painting. Congratulations. Congratulations. Make sure you send us your um, your address so that yeah. we can send this. Yep. And um, Ed Griffith, I think, uh, never sent us an address. The traveling Mercers. And uh, so, so yay! Rhonda's using the uh, emojis. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> All right, he's writing in the he's writing the name your name on the back of that so he doesn't forget who it goes to. And thank you all for joining us. And uh, with the the trivia, the taste test. Oh, one more thing. I forgot. We have to win that. The too, bucket. Yeah, the bucket. There's one more prize, the bucket. Let's see. Unless you want to wait till Saturday. No, I'm going to, I want it mailed Sunday. out. I want it mailed out. Okay. Okay. So let me see that. And there's a bucket. So let me see how to do this. It has rabbits and buckies. All right. So what I'm going to do, what Boys. I'm going to do is uh, all of you that had the hashtag cross in there, if you're still here, we'll make sure you're still here. I'm just going to hit draw again for the, for the bucket, for this bucket. And it's got goodies. It's got um, Bucky's nuggets in it. It's got little um, little plastic um, uh, ducks. You could actually fill it with candies if you want, or you can set them out as decorations. Even those can be set out outside. It's got little little eggs with with bunnies on it. It's got little little bunny things here. You can always put candy in all of these different these different um, things. It's got it's got these kind of little bunnies. The happy faced ones in different colors. And I had nothing to do with this because I wouldn't know how to ship a bucket like this. And then there's a little um, there's a little wooden uh, shelf sitter bunny in there, which I thought was cute. I've got one of those. A lot of these things that are in here I have. There's a little there's one piece, one thing of candy in there. And so and like I said, the Bucky's the Bucky's nuggets. So I'm going to, and it's got this little bucket and I've got the same bucket matching bucket. And, um, this bucket is, um, I just use it to put my, um, supplements over here. So when I'm every day, I can have something, you know, mm -hmm. yep. and, uh, I'm just going to draw again for this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Draw again. Oh, there it goes. Already going. Dum, 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 dum. Carla Vision! Are you still in here, Carla? Yeah, we've been hearing from her lately. Okay. I'd have to look up that that email. Let me see. I didn't see an email come in for that though. Let me see. It's on. I can't check it right now because it's on this phone. That we're using. You can always email. It's probably. Yep, Carlos in there. I think we have her address already. I think I've sent her stuff before. But instead of worrying about it, here's your chance. Just. Go to the Schnauzer Hauser at MSN and send us your address. Then we, yeah. we we've got it. It's it's probably that's just a simple way to do it. Yeah, it, it it's if it's on my account, it's probably one of my emails, but just one I don't use. Um, I don't really use that much. So congratulations, Carla. Um, there's there's one more thing I'm going to draw again because I had something for Carla that I was going to send her, but since she won this. Since she won this, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw somebody's name for that other one, that other thing that I had for her. So I'm just going to hit draw again. And it's it's a few things in it, but not as much as this. Okay? So I'm going to draw again for one more. Person. Yeah. Can you want me to grab so you can show it? No, it's just got some of the same stuff in here. Oh, okay. Sandy Serenity Corner. Okay. Hey, Sandy. So send us an email. All right. <laughs> I think, is it, was there anything else? I don't know. Oh, I want to show. I got these things for, I got these things for us to, to drink out of. Little peep cups. I probably will never drink out of a peep cup. <laughs> I will give it to a grandchild. Before I have a peep they're cute. I think they're cute. I think they're cute. Okay. Thank you, Sheer, for congratulating everybody. All right. Sandy Serenity Corner. So, says, thank um, you. Car says, congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to all the winners. Yep. Congratulations. And we're right at 8 o'clock, so it's a good time. And, uh, somebody thank else. Thank you, thank you, on. thank you, thank you all. Thank you. All right. Yeah. And that, that email, email us. And Tara's got the email in there, too. Email us at that address with your with your um, address so we can yeah. get this stuff mailed address out. You want to send it Congratulations to, to the winners. Congratulations. We had fun. Okay. So And a, and a sugar high. Sheesh. Hey, Jeremy. So thank you. We love you. We love you. But, but Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you more. more. He loves you enough that he died for you. Yes. He died for you. It's On not there. No, no, no. Occasion. This is how you end it. You can end it there. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that's right. It's streaming. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night.